This video will cover the topic, rewriting a quadratic function to find its vertex and sketch its graph. Let's start with the example problem. g of x equals negative 2x squared plus 12x minus 19. How would we rewrite this quadratic function in order to find its vertex? Great question! Our overall goal is to get our quadratic function into the form of g of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k, where a, h, and k are constants, and a does not equal zero. In this form, the vertex of our equation would be h, k. How will we get our equation into this form? For our first step, we're going to factor out a negative two from our terms negative two x squared and 12x. This results in g of x equals negative 2 times x squared minus 6x minus 19. Now let's look at only the first two terms in the parentheses on the right side. Since we have x squared minus 6x, we can now complete the square. Well, how will we complete the square? Keep in mind that for now we are only looking at x squared minus 6x. We are first going to take the coefficient of our linear term, negative 6x, which is negative 6, divide by 2, and then square the results to get 9. We now add 9 inside the parentheses. This results in g of x equals negative 2 times x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 19. But something is missing. When we added 9 inside the parentheses on the right side of our equation, we were actually adding negative 18 since 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. Since we actually add a negative 18 to the right side of the equation, that means we need to add negative 18 to the left side. So now we have g of x plus negative 18 equals negative 2 times x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 19. From here we add 18 to both sides and the result is g of x equals negative 2 times x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 19 plus 18. We simplify the right side of the equation, which results in g of x equals negative 2 times x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 1. Then we factor the trinomial inside the parentheses, and our result is g of x equals negative 2 times x minus 3 squared minus 1. Now that we have our quadratic function in the form of g of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k, we can now find the vertex by finding the constants that correspond to our h and k. In the case of this quadratic function, h equals 3 and k equals negative 1. This means that our vertex is 3, negative 1. Now that we've found our vertex, how will we graph the function? Now that we have our function in a new form and we know our vertex, we will make a chart of points that we will use to graph our function. We will first pick two x values to the left of our vertex and two x values to the right of our vertex. We will find our y values by inserting our x values into the new form of our function. Our results would be the points of 1, negative 9, 2, negative 3, 3, negative 1, 4, negative 3, and 5, negative 9. With these points, we can now graph our function. I think I'm getting this, but I was wondering if I could summarize just to make sure. First we solve our quadratic function for g of x if necessary. Then we follow the plan we used in the problem above to rewrite the function as g of x equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Now we know that the vertex is h comma k. Then we'll make a table showing the vertex in four more points, two on the left side of the vertex and two on the right. Then we can graph our function. That sounds great. It seems like you understand how to rewrite a quadratic function to find its vertex and sketch its graph.